السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرحلی صدری و سرلی امری واہل العقدم السانی یفق قولی Going by the definition of arriya literally means insincerity, duplicity, hypocrisy, showing off an eye service. By considering these words, the meaning of arriya is distinctly discerned. From a sharia point of view, it means to perform acts which are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the intention of pleasing Allah. other than allah the intention is such cases therefore is usually to show off one's good deeds to win praise and admiration of others riya makes us focus on earning appreciation from people rather than seeking allah's favor and acceptance it makes us focus on people's appreciation of our virtuous acts which means we give importance to them and not to allah the most benevolent Considering the temporary nature of things, our chief concern instead should be on the long-term rewards and thus to do good to earn Allah's pleasure because that can benefit us both in this world and the next. Just for the temporary pleasure of being praised, admired and considered pious by others, many people fall into the pits of riya, show off. They fail to realize how much Allah Almighty would be displeased with them. A warning just before we continue. Please don't judge. Please don't judge others. The above example of showing off are aimed at motivating the viewers to detect show off only in their own deeds not in that of others riya is in fact related to the heart and not everyone can be aware of what the intentions of others hearts are therefore one should never form a negative opinion about a muslim by suspecting him or judging him or her to be involved in riya as described in these examples and going forward in the video to form a negative opinion about a muslim is a haram act leading to hell may allah forbid for sure as the quran asserted the good deeds performed by ostentatious people not for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but preferring worldly life to the afterlife will never benefit them at all the holy quran stated whosoever desires the life of the world and its luxuries to them we shall pay in full the wages of their deeds therein and will not make any reduction in it quran surah 11 verse 15 whosoever's intention concern and goal is in the worldly life then allah almighty will surely compensate him for his good deeds in this life then when they reach the next life they will have no good deeds left that will be rewarded to them Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam feared for his companions and he called it lesser shirk so he said that which i fear most for you is lesser shirk so they said and what is lesser shirk o messenger of allah so he said it is a riya acting to show off allah will say on the day of resurrection when the people are recompensed for their deeds go to those people whom you used to show off to in the world and look and see do you find any recompense with them any reward with them and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said 
Shall I not inform you of that which is more fearful with me upon you than Al Masiya ud Dajjal? So they said, Yes, indeed. So he said, It is hidden shirk that a man stands up and prays, and he beautifies his prayers because of the fact that he sees a man looking at him. Riya is of many types of forms. Some of them are given below. Showing off in one's faith. Showing off with one's appearance. Showing off through speech. Showing off through one's deeds. Showing off through association. Showing off through actions. A list of some common examples of show off in Ibadah in our everyday life. To offer Salah regularly so that people will consider him or her very steadfast in Salah. For a half is to lead the Raviya, Salah for money or fame. To offer Salah calmly with the humility of the body in the presence of people to impress them. If a person who has offered Nafil Salah such as Salatu Tahajjud and rubs his eyes or stretches during the day in the presence of people so that they will come to know that he has not slept at night but has stayed awake performing good deeds. This is an indication of a riya. If someone who has woken up to offer tahajjud coughs loudly or does other things so that his wife and others in the family members can wake up and be impressed to see him offering tahajjud, it is a clear indication of Riyah. To stay late at Masjid after offering Salah so that people can consider him a pious person. To offer Salah regularly in the first row of Masjid so that people will praise him and be impressed with him. To express regret in the presence of people for missing the first row of Jama'ah so that people will consider him very enthusiastic about the first row and Jama'ah. Show off for people who spend money in Divine Path. To donate money for religious activities so that people will call the donor a generous person. To distribute charity to the poor so that they will gather around him begging. To serve and help patients, the grief stricken and flood victims etc. so that people will call him a well-wisher of the troubled and a sincere social worker. This is a perfect picture of Arya in charity. Hadith on ostentation, Arya, show off. Special place in hell for the reciter who shows off. Abu Huraira reported, the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, Seek refuge in Allah from the pits of sorrow. They said, O Messenger of Allah, what is the pits of sorrow? The Prophet replied, It is a valley in hell from which hell itself seeks refuge 100 times a day. They said, O Messenger of Allah, who will enter it? The Prophet said, The reciter who only acted or recited to be seen and praised.
A famous hadith on show off for Riya and the love of praise. As mentioned in a hadith of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam of the first three people being thrown into the hellfire. The scholar who taught for fame, the martyr who fought for fame, and the person who gave his money in charity, so people would say he is a generous man. All three of these people desired the pleasure of people over the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. These persons who desires the praise of people must feel some pride in themselves for they feel themselves worthy of being praised there is a danger therefore of them becoming arrogant and boastful a trait that led us to shaitan iblis to do Finally, in Islam, niya intention is the deciding factor. There is a difference between those who are showing off, doing riya, and those who share their deeds with the aim of inspiring others to do the same. Today's modern world has seen the power of digital tools that none of us are stranger to. The power to share and broadcast on social media platform. such as Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and various other sites. However, we should take note not to be a judge, a quick judge of others who share their acts of goodness such as feeding and helping the poor during Ramadan via these social media sites as people who are boastful. This is because sincerity is a secret between a slave and Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, we cannot deny that there are positive effects of sharing these good deeds because it can inspire others to do the same. This is especially useful when there is a need a source for mass support. We should not let fear of riya take us to the other extreme and prevent us from doing good deeds. Just as Satan arouses us in vanity and the yearning for self-glorification, he also uses his wiles to make us avoid good deeds out of fear of showing off. This suspicion can weaken our resolve and eventually stop us from doing that which pleases Allah. An honest assessment of the purity of our niyyah intentions can help us in such a situation. We should ensure that the intentions to seek Allah's favor is the only factor that prompts us in the practice of good as long as we are sincere in our intentions we need not worry about anything that satan might come up with a heart fortified with strong faith iman and sincerity of intention is not troubled by satan's whispers when practicing virtues secretly or openly a dua to help us stay away from shirk bismillahir rahmanir rahim allahumma inni a'udhu bika min an ushrika bika shay'un wa ana 'alamu wa astaghfiruka lima la 'alamu oh allah we seek refuge with you from knowingly associating anything with you and we seek your forgiveness for that which we do unknowingly when a person feels that allah subhanahu wa taala is always watching him what other people thinks will become insignificant and this will make him respect and fear only allah subhanahu wa taala may we be protected from arya and takabbur may we be granted pure hearts 
hearts that are guarded from all sorts of blameworthy traits that Allah dislikes. One of the things that will be of benefit in this matter is seeking the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us with sincerity in our deeds and efforts. Ameen, summa ameen. Wa akhiru dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulil kareem. Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ali muhammad. Thank you. Please do subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment, and don't forget to click the bell icon for notification of new videos. Jazakallah khair.